Shaka, elsewhere on ESPN FC, we did a you're a disappointment section for those who mm -hmm. promised a lot and haven't really delivered. So it's only fair that we got a surprise, surprise. Ten players who've exceeded expectation. Your top five, let's start at five. Um, I'll start with Sayunku and Leicester City. Sayunku. Yeah, OK. <laughs> and for me, listen, I, you look at Leicester City and what they've become. And I know we've also got Jamie Vardy on this list, who has been simply outstanding. But who thought we'd be sitting here, not just talking about Leicester City being where they are on the table, but being, but Leicester City being the stingiest defence mm -hmm. in the Premier League. And I think So Yun Chu is, maybe he doesn't take all the credit, but given that he's the only Leicester City defender on this list, I think he gets the credit that Leicester City defensively deserve. You want to take a stab at the pronunciation of no. his first name? No. Chala. Chala. Okay. He's kind of soft. Yeah, that's You're fine. Welcome. But uh, by the way, they sell Harry Maguire for multi-trillions and they cost, it costs like a fiver or something. That's some profit. Well, I'm not sure about the trillions and the fiver, but never mind. I'm going on to number Next. Four. Fabinho. Okay. And I think it's probably timely to recognise Fabinho and how good he's been for, for Liverpool this season, given his opening goal uh, against Manchester City. But given the fact that I, I don't have Fabinho higher is because we, we saw a lot of this At from Monaco. him. At Monaco. Yep. But he came to Liverpool and just seemed to struggle to really establish himself. Now, Fabinho is the first name on the team sheet. Um, as good a midfielder as, as there is in, in the Premier League, certainly in, in that position. And then when you contribute goals like you saw on the weekend, I think fully deserving to be on this list. But as I mentioned, maybe not as high as his general overall play maybe deserves, just kind of given his build up to this point. Like we did in the disappointment segment, give me one of those who hasn't made your five that came close. Well, I mentioned Jamie Vardy, uh, and I won't this time. Daniel James, uh, I think, has been simply outstanding for, yep. for Manchester United. He's quick. In, in a season of, of a lot of disappointment for them, I, I didn't expect him to have this kind, I didn't expect him to play this kind of role. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect him to have this kind of impact. So Daniel James gets honorable mention. It's very kind of you, Shaka. Uh, you're, you're most welcome. Who's number three? That'll be a theme to my top three. I'm going to start with Tammy Abrams. So that means they're all Chelsea players. Abraham. I, 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 I'm not giving anything away just yet. I Listen, coming in, I, I didn't think he'd see many min minutes. I thought Frank Lampard would go to try it and test it. In Olivier Giroud, Tammy Abrams come in and hit the ground running. Not just hit the ground running, but look at, at, at his record so far this season. Simply outstanding. And I think he's grown as this season has gone on. It's been... It, it's been not just a surprise, but a, a joy to witness over the course of the season. I want to go miss him up at uh, number two. Again, listen. Whoa. I, I know he's a favourite of Frank Lampard coming in. From Derby. Desperate to, to have him back at Chelsea and almost seemed to have built this team around. Now, as much as there was a lot of well, uncertainty around Chelsea and their prospects during the course of the season, this kind of faith in, in Mason Mount, listen, I didn't see an awful lot of Derby last season, I admit, but it just seemed misplaced to me. Yet still, uh, he has exceeded every single expectation. Talking about first names and team sheets and surprises, I think it's more surprising that Chelsea are where they are than Liverpool are where they are. So Mason Mount, for me, gets the nod for the same reasons that Fabinho is just on my list. I'm confident I know number one. Absolutely. Without question. I, like, like most uh, uh, behind the desk at the ESPN FC, thought this would be a season of struggle for Frank Lampard. Why? Managing fo a football club, particularly a Premier League football club, is hard work. It's difficult to manage those egos, and especially given the restrictions that came with the Chelsea job right now, given the transfer ban. Which I think could be a positive for Lampard. What? And the fact you've got City Hold and on. Liverpool could be a positive for Lampard. It's worked out as a positive for yep. Lampard. I think very easily, I think it was a whole lot easier for Chelsea to implode. It's worked well, and it's easy to know to sit back in our hindsight and say, well, yeah, these things work for him. But coming into the season, I thought 
in my opinion, it was more likely that it would implode. It, would, it was far more likely that Chelsea would be near the bottom three than they would be mid-table. Let alone here we're talking about a, a Chelsea team that currently sit in the top three, that are challenging the likes of, of Liverpool and Manchester City up at the top of the Premier League, continue to go great in, 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 the, in the Champions League, despite an uncertain start in that competition themselves. Talking about growing winter position, Frank Lampard has done exactly that. I, I don't think there's any debate as to who's been the biggest surprise in the Premier League this season. Magnanimous, because it takes a big person to say they got it wrong, but you've got both hands up and yeah. your Chelsea top three say that. All three. I, I did not see this happening at all, and, and I hold my hands up. I, I would have, if, if I put my mortgage on any of these things happening, I'd be in your basement <laughs> right now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.